Hi everyone, welcome to the tips and tricks of Solid Experts. I'm Alain Provo, welcoming you for the fourth part of my mini series about Swood. So, in the first three episodes, what we saw was how to manage our library and create them, how to create a new cabinet from scratch very easily, and finally, how to create new materials efficiently inside the solution. So now the next logical thing is to use those materials on our conception that we did on the second episode. So let's jump right inside SOLIDWORKS and see how we can do that. So here we are inside SOLIDWORKS. I'll open up my SWIT design solution and open up my libraries and the model we did last time. So I'll edit that model. There we go. We remember that last time I created the uh, unit with a generic panel. So there was no applied materials to it, just a dimension for the thickness uh, by default that uh, I have put on that model, which is 19 millimeter. So if I go in my material library now, I'll go back in the solid experts folder and we remember that we added the plywood Okume dark textured material. And when we did that, we also applied thickness to those new materials. And, and there are so many ways to use the materials inside the SWOOD solution. Okay, so let's say I want to use the plywood ukume 19 millimeter of thickness on that cabinet. So I'll simply take it, drag it inside the model, and when I release the left button of the mouse, I have the choice to put it on the whole cabinet or the panel which only uh, where I released my, uh, my mouse click. So I can put it on the whole model in just one click like that. So if you need to make a quick change, only one type of material, that's fine. That's fine for the whole unit and that's fine for just one of the part of that unit. But if you need to apply different types of material on the unit, then it, it's starting to be a little bit confusing which material is where, and I, I need to open up each part to see where the, the material in it. So instead of doing that, the best way to do it is to go inside the SWIT design tools and then maybe select the um, material configurator instead. So that assistant will show you which material and to which panel it is applied. So here, it was easy. It's only one material to all my parts, but I'll clear that. And now you'll see that if I want, I can select a material. It's gonna be added automatically in my assistant so maybe I need some other kind of material in there. And maybe I want a one inch thick top on that unit. Maybe the bottom will be another kind of material. So let's say I want to add another type of material. Why not? I simply click, it's gonna be added inside my assistant. So now what I can do is I can choose where and how I apply the material. So let's say I want the dark ukume here and here, and maybe the MDF for the bottom right there. And, and that's how the assistant will help me out very quickly. And now I have a very easy way to know how the materials were applied on my model. So yes, I can definitely do it one by one. I can definitely check out which material is in the part. But if I want to 
easily and, and efficiently work out the materials in my model, this would be the way to do it. And, and don't forget, every time that you apply some changes, even though you do that, all the dimension will keep working. So if the outside dimension was 700, it's not because I put a thickness higher than it was before, it will not change that dimension. It will respect the outside dimension of the unit. So you'll be sure to send the right model to the shop. I hope these tricks will have helped you out in um, starting to work with this wood solution. If you have any question about this wood solution, please give us a call and we'll be able to answer you. So it was Alain Provo for a little series about wood. I hope you enjoyed and I invite you to check out our other tips and tricks that will be coming soon. Thank you and bye-bye.